Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to lesson three. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to easily get content for your website. Uh, I just want to say before we begin, um, I just want to thank everybody who's contributed. If, um, if you're able to, please contribute. The link is on the bottom in the description box below. It's uh, $2.99 per lesson. If you can contribute, please feel free. I have a PayPal link as well. Um, I hope your family is safe. Please stay in. The next two weeks going to be crazy. So please stay in. Please take care of your family. And this is a great time to touch up on your marketing skills. Like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, get content to you for your website. Each page should take anywhere for about uh, 30 minutes to 45 minutes to get a great page of content. So I really think that you're going to enjoy it and uh, stay safe. And thank you for contributing. And I love you all. And thank you. Watch this. Okay, guys, so I really think you're going to like this lesson. I've preloaded all my tabs. I think one of the most frustrating things you could do is watch somebody give an, uh, a marketing video and try it out for the first time, and they're going back and clicking links, and it gets real frustrating. So I preloaded everything, and I'm going to show you how to get content for your website. The first thing you want to do is go to a website called archive.org. When you go to archive.org, you put the keyword that you're looking for. So for example, I put in SEO agency. And then what you'll do is you'll scroll down and you'll look at these websites and you'll notice from 2011 to 2016. Uh, that website may still be up. But you could check it very simply by just copying the website and just putting it in to the browser like so and see if the website is still up and it is so we don't want to take any content from that website what we're what we're doing is we're going to take content from a website that's not indexed anymore is not on the web anymore so we could repurpose that content so what I did was I checked all the websites and I went down to a website I like this name metal frog studios I went to Metal Frog Studios, right? And I saw from that started in 2009, and um, the last time they updated was 2016. They updated this website close to 3,000 times in five years, okay? What I did was I first copied the website, make sure that it wasn't a wasn't online anymore all right boom and it's not all right so it comes up to a uh, like a page page that can't be found anymore I think everybody in my building is on the internet today my internet is a little slow we'll come back to that believe me it's not on anymore okay there it is okay there it is all right so metal frog studios is not can't be reached anymore so what I do is I go back to the Wayback Machine, right? And I click these captures. When I click the captures, I see a, let me show you what I mean. I see a graph like this. Once I click the captures right here in the upper left-hand corner, this is where I see the graph. Okay, I see a calendar. Here's the graph. I see a calendar, right? And I pick a date, let's say March 10th. There's two snapshots. They made two updates on that day. And I click around and I come to this page. I come to this page and I was like, okay, great. I could take this content. This content looks pretty good. Perfect. I'm going to need to restructure it a little bit. Like I said in uh, my last lesson, where my H1, my H2, my H3, H4 tags, if you didn't see lesson two, I would suggest to go back to that. Um, I'll add once again the sheet, the, um, I'll add the uh, content sheet on how you should structure your content in lesson three also. 
okay so great this content looks perfect I'll grab this content and I'll go put it in a notepad right now once I grab this content I want to make sure that this wasn't copied content right does that make sense because then I'm not going to be able to rank I am not going to be able to rank the site so what I do is over here I check to see if any of the site was if it was still indexed in any way so I went to site semicolon metalfrogstudios.com and none of the site is online so what I do is I take the content and I just put it into Google and I want to see okay there are eight results with people using partial of the con partial portions of the content that's not bad when you see it's all in black that means that this content was reused over and over just the portions in bold are copied and let's face it if you're talking about search engine optimization you're going to use the word search engine optimization so absolutely not a problem I could take this content okay so now I have a page full of content which I copied and I put on a Word document or I put it in a notepad but you know what I still need some more content or yeah I, okay I need some additional content so here's what I do I go over to YouTube and I type in the same keyword I type in SEO agency and let me show you how I got to this okay I type in SEO agency and well here here are two people talking I, I probably can't get content from that but you know what a lot of these cartoons have a voiceover and most people don't reuse their content so what I do is I just take this content here I click this video and I click open transcript right when you first open it says title timestamps I take the timestamps off and I take this content also also right and I also put that in a notepad or a, or a word or a, or a word document so now I have all this content and now I could stop I could grab a cup of coffee right get some water or something like that I have all this great content and now I just need to restructure it so like I said before in the in lesson two I find out what my keyword is for example friendly SEO agency in New York City or in Tampa right I use a little bit of top uh, uh, content here then I find the geographic area for example Tampa or New York City and I use a synonym of um, SEO agency maybe uh, uh, search engine optimization agency or, or uh, you know something to that effect and then I just need some bullet points so I go back to my content and I'm like okay what bullet points can I grab out of there well I'm going to use the word uh, voted top rated search engine optimization company right okay providing the best advice uh, uh, you know search engine advice or whatever keywords I'm able to grab you know out of this text that I already copied and I'm just going to follow this structure then in the h3 tag I want to use 500 words well that's gonna be real easy because I got it from a website that is already written naturally I have to take out the word metal frog out of UK and change it to mine saw you know out of New York or Tampa wherever I am right okay and then the services that we can carry the you know the services that we perform it's you know you should know those for your for your industry any kind of indif additional information once again if you go back to metal frog right you could grab all this stuff all this stuff the hosting advice home you could go to other websites that are that are also uh, have been taken offline right if you get stuck so grabbing content usually takes anywhere from uh, 30 to 45 minutes if you just follow this structure 
and you get the content from the Wayback Machine, archive.org. You also get it from YouTube. Like I said, try to go to a cartoon video where somebody's explaining something because the English is perfect and um, it was well written rather than a conversation. So if you open a transcript on, on this YouTube video that you're watching right now, it won't make any sense because the way that, the way that I speak would, uh, 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 in fact, that's what kept me from doing YouTube videos for five years. I, I did YouTube videos back in, I think, uh, 2013 or 14, somewhere around there. And I realized that I said the word, uh, and, uh, and my voice, and I stopped for five years. And then one day I just, I just did the old Nike, just do it. And I just did it, and uh, here I am. Now I feel comfortable doing it. And if you like it, great. And if you don't, uh, come back in a year, because I'll get better. All right? So with that being said, that's how I get content for websites. Now, I want to show you one other thing. I also do this. I admit it. I also do this. I also do this. I go to Wikipedia. And I'll type in SEO agency. And then I'll read a little bit. And then I'll close my eyes. And I'll remember what I, what I read. And I'll just put it in my own words. You can get a lot of good content by reading Wikipedia articles or going to um, uh, maybe another website that you admire in your industry and reading the content, but do not copy content. Don't copy content. You'll never be able to rank that website. Remember to add your schema, right, to, to, to the footer of your homepage. So you're letting Google know what your website's all about. And uh, those, are my, those are my tips, right? If you don't want to do it yourself, you could hire somebody from Upwork. There's also plenty of people home right now. You don't have to be a writer. You just have to understand good English and explain this. Give them this video. You know somebody who's home right now. Give them this video and say, hey, I'll pay you $15 per a uh, thousand word article that you write or twenty dollars whatever you want to whatever you want to pay someone and they could practically write all the content for your websites for your blogs anything that you need right so I really hope that this video helped you in collecting content for your website or also you could use this content to put on your tumblr page with a link back to your website Right? You can use it for articles on other websites and then link them back. Tons of things you could do with this content. Tons of things you could do with this content. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell. Um, I know I get a lot of people that come and check out my videos. And uh, I really appreciate everyone. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please donate if you have the extra cash. And if you don't, that's okay too. Um, if you could just share my uh, video on your social media, just hit the share link on the YouTube and um, just take that link and just put it on your Facebook and on your Twitter or LinkedIn and just share it. That, that would be great also. All right, guys. I think I'm going to do another video later on because I'm one behind. So uh, I am going to push out another video later tonight. Okay, guys. Please stay safe and be nice. And we're going to get through this. I, I, I promise we're going to get through this. Stay in. Keep your family in. Nobody goes out. I don't want anybody out. All right, guys. Thank you.